Now, have you ever felt like you're waiting just forever for Google to index your new content? This could especially be a problem if you're publishing a lot of content on a regular basis, which you should absolutely be doing, especially with AI's help. I'm gonna break down seven hacks that will let you get your AI-generated content indexed in minutes. So first, internal links. You wanna make sure that any new article that you publish has links from other pages on your website. A really good way to decide which pages should link to your new ones, first of all, they have to be relevant. And second, we can use Google Search Console data to decide which internal pages are most powerful in Google's eyes. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like over here. So here I am inside Google Search Console, and all I'm going to do is look for the most powerful pages. So I'll come down to performance, and I'll click pages here. And I wanna sort actually by impressions. So the reason for this is if a page is getting a lot of impressions, that shows that Google trusts that page a lot. So pages with lots of impressions are pages that should have internal links to your new pages. If you publish new content about a topic similar to one of these, then you should link from here to your new content. Linking from pages that have a high number of impressions to your brand new just published pages a really good way to get it indexed quickly. All right, number two, use structured data. Use every type of schema that is relevant for that particular page. Pages can have more than one type of schema. Almost every page of your website should at least have organization schema and breadcrumb schema. There's also article schema, review schema, local business schema. Use every type of schema that's relevant to the content relevant to the page that you published, okay? Structured data will help indexing. Number three, make sure the content is well built, is well designed. You wanna make sure you're using H1, H2, H3 tags. You wanna use images, you wanna use tables, you wanna use callouts. Especially in this age of AI generated content, I've seen website after website that are 2,000 word blocks of text with no images, no H tag, no tables, just a jerry block of text. And that is just not going to cut it. Google will not index a 2,000 word block of text, not anymore. It's just much, much more difficult. Get, spend the effort to make sure that the new page is actually well built, well formatted. All right, number four, add a sitemap with the last modified thing, and you're gonna submit that sitemap to the search console. Don't rely on Google to just find it generally well, but we can just add it very easily, and I'll show you exactly how. So here I am again in Search Console, and we're gonna go down to Sitemaps, and we have these sitemaps, and we can add a new sitemap if we wanted to right here with this URL. So super easy to add a sitemap, and that's going to help give Google an idea of which pages you want it to crawl. Now, if you have a very small site, fewer than 50 URLs, you probably don't need a sitemap. But if you are struggling with indexing, it's something that takes five minutes to do, go ahead and knock it out, it will help. Number five social media links, okay? So this is one where if Google sees your new page being shared on social media, Facebook, Twitter, even a GBP post, with a link to your new content, Google is going to be more likely to actually index that. I mean, keep in mind that Facebook, Twitter, those are some of the most powerful domains on the internet, so having those links to your new content is a really good sign that content is worth crawling and is worth indexing. These are things that are very, very easy to do. You can either just post it on your own Facebook or Twitter or create a GBP post with that URL in it, or there are a lot of services where you can get social media type links. The one we use is Ice Cream Truck. Uh, not expensive, it can be drip fed, and really, really helps with getting a new page index. All right, number six, we're getting close to the end here. Number six, we're just gonna ask Google nicely to index it inside the Google Search Console. Let me show you exactly how to do that. It probably takes a minute. So we're gonna come into Search Console and the first thing you have to do is find the page. And it could be any page. So I'm just gonna view the pages that are not indexed. And Google's gonna tell us exactly why it's not indexed. I'm gonna go ahead and check crawled current not indexed. And what that means is Google has crawled this URL and decided it is of no value to its searchers. Generally, this is a pretty bad sign. So we're gonna come in here and doesn't matter. We'll just pick one of these and we'll click inspect URL. And Google is saying, hey, it's not on index, and if it's not index, it can't be served on Google. We can look at it here to see why, and all you have to do is click Request Indexing. 
Now this might take another minute or so. What Google is doing now, it's just basically recrawling that URL to see if anything has changed, to make sure there's no, no index tag, to make sure that the URL is capable of being indexed, to make sure that there's no 404 error or a redirect, anything like that. All right, and we saw I just said submitting requests and now indexing requested. Now generally this only takes a few minutes. So I've done this test before on multiple types. If we do a quick search on Google in five, 10 minutes, we'll probably see this URL indexed. Now why not stay indexed if Google doesn't think to call it a URL, but this is a really good way just to quickly get it indexed and then relying on the fact that it is a quality URL, quality content that actually provides valuable information, actually helps Google's users, Google searchers. If that's the case, that will stick around. If not, if it's this low quality AI written dribble, it will probably get indexed and then de-indexed within a few hours later. All right, and number seven, the last hack, if you've tried the other six and they're just not working, you just can't get to an index, you submitted it on Google and it's not working, and you know the quality is good, right? It's not just AI generated, you had your human editor uh, tune it up, improve it, and it's still not like getting indexed. That is when at my agency, we're gonna use a third-party indexing tool, one like indexmeetout.com. This is what that tool looks like. It's not free, uh, as most tools aren't, but it's pretty easy to use. You're just gonna give it the URL that you want indexed, and then it will work and index it. If, it's, if it fails, then it doesn't charge you. So using those seven hacks, you should be able to get your content indexed very, very quickly, very easily. There are a lot of big websites out there, major websites like uh, CNN.com that actually are struggling with indexing. And if your content isn't indexed, then you may as well have not produced it. You're just wasting your time. So indexing is critically important. Those seven hacks will make sure that you're gonna be able to get your content indexed in 10 minutes or less. Now that you know how to get your new content indexed, I want you to learn how to improve your existing content using AI. In just five minutes, you're gonna be able to make massive rate improvements with the methods in this video.